Welcome to another tutorial by Igloo Imaging. This one is on bowls, um, buttons, crystal balls, aqua buttons, 3D logos, whatever you want to call this thing. So I'll show you how to do different colors at the end, but what we're going to create is, is one of these. Um, to start off with, we're going to use this, do the background. Now, this is an illustrator. My artboard is 1080p size for screen. Um, that doesn't really matter. You can make these any size you like. They're vector graphics, so you can make them any size. They don't lose quality. So let's get started. We're going to draw a circle. So you're going to want to select the ellipse tool and holding down Alt and Shift will draw you a circle. I'll let go and mine's already pre-done in the colors to blue gradient I've saved the gradients that I want but it's quite easy to do if you use the gradient tool quite often I've got a 80% gray this is CMYK if you can't see CMYK click your options and, and use CMYK I always do CMYK for, for print um, you can use RGB for web colors um, in the middle we've got a white and at this end we've got a 90% black. Now what you want to do is either rotate the circle, so the, the sort of dark bits up at the top here, or you can redraw your gradient by clicking on the gradient tool and you can draw across your circle to wherever you want it to be. So that's quite good. So now what we're going to do is press A and select, direct select your circle. Command C and then Command Shift V. And all that does is paste, copy and paste the circle in place. And then hit V and your bounding box comes up and you want to just drag it in, hold in Alt and Shift. So we're doing this first little bevel. Now we've dragged it in a little bit and what we want to do is rotate it so the dark bit goes round down here. So if you just hover over the corner, pull it round to about there. That's about right. Now, we're going to do the same thing again. So hit A, Command C, Command Shift V, and that's pasted it in place. Now, for this one, we're going to hit V and then shrink it a little bit more than the first one. There. And again, we're going to rotate it a little bit more so it moves around. So that's, that's our beveled steps. Now, we're gonna use this circle one more time. So, Command C, Command Shift V, paste in place, and then we shrink it in for the button, the actual blue button, it's about there. So again, I've got my preset gradients in here. Um, it's 100% cyan, and 100 cyan, 100 magenta, for the gradient. And I've dragged my slider as you can see to around 77% there so that's that's the uh, it's starting to look good there so what we want to do is now add these sort of shiny bits and make the reflections in there so the first one here is just an, an oval so what we're going to do is draw roughly the shape you want now mine again is pre-selected I'm going to show you what the settings are so I'm going to just twist it a bit and make it sort of touch the top there that's about right so if I select this it's another gradient you can see the line goes across it there and the difference on this one is it's white at this end and the opacity has been changed to 90 percent then at the other end it's zero so it fades off to zero you can see it goes off other people use transparencies and then screen but as you can see, it doesn't do anything because it's the same kind of effect. So now we're going to create this crescent moon shape down here. So we're going to select the blue circle, Command C, Command Shift V. So we've pasted it in place. And then we're going to hit V. And we're going to hold down Command and drag that shape. So it's the same kind of principle, copy and paste, but just a different way of doing it. So now we've got two. So using the V and holding down Shift, you're going to select the top one, 
on that one. And then you want to find your Pathfinder. If you can't see it, then hit your drop downs and select it from there. This setup, this layout that I've got here with all these tools and windows, I've developed this over years of using Illustrator, and it's just the way mine works best for me. So hit this one here. So you're subtracting the front from the back there, and it gives you a crescent moon. Now, what I didn't do is create the circle, so that's okay. We can pop that circle back in. Um, and just command shift V in place again and, and, and drop it back behind the others. So now we're getting there, we're starting to sort of see the same effect. Now this is blue at the minute, and this one has got the white gradient on it. So all you do is select it with v, v, then press I, which is your color dropper, and click on this one, and it copies it across. So now we've just got to get the gradient in the right place to make it look so that's got a bit of a shine to it there. Now these little shiny bits here are just ovals again. Now, let's rotate this round. And again, they're the same as the big one, but this time they're radial. So the other one would be on a linear draws a line across it and if you hit type and radial it puts it in the circle. Now what it's done it's redrawn it as a circle so pull that bit down, pull that bit across, pull that bit back down. Again white 80%, white 0% at the other end. So that just gives you a shiny section. Move it over here, you can rotate it around right there and then you're going to hold command drag it across, get you another one. We're going to put this one down on the edge. Now you can see that it's it's overlapped this metal bit here and we don't want that. So I'm going to click the main circle, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it in place. Now if you select this one, hold shift and select the shiny bit and then press command 7, it's going to mask it inside that circle. So that looks nice. And then we've actually got that one disappeared. Oh, it's disappeared. So now we've actually got another one here on the metallic bit. So we can hold, press V, select, command, oops, sorry, you want alt and drag to copy it. Rotate it round, pop it on the, the white bit of the metal. Rotate it a bit, maybe make this one a bit bigger. There we go, that looks good. And that's about that. The last thing to do is draw a shadow underneath it. So you just use your ellipse tool to draw a shadow. And this one wants to go from black in the middle to white on the edge. Gradient to down, and then over. Oops. Look about right. It's a bit dark there in the middle. And that's because it's a mix. Get that to and if you put the center mark right in the bottom, it looks like it's sitting on the deck. If you move it down a bit, it looks like it's floating. And if we just get rid of this and select all of this, make it a bit smaller. If you select everything at the top, you can Command G, which groups it together. And then Alt drag it down, Alt and Shift drags it down in the same place. And if you look underneath the shape, look underneath the rotate tool, there's a reflect tool. Double click that. Horizontal, there you go. So what we're going to do is a reflection here. So as you can see, it's reflected underneath it. It's a mirror image underneath. But we want to make that a bit lighter. So we draw a box over the whole thing. It doesn't have to be accurate. It needs to be gradiated from black to white. And you need to go from the top down to the bottom. 
and you select everything, drag the cursor over everything, and you want your transparency window. In here, on the options, it says make opacity mask. Now that's good, it's still a bit too heavy. So in this bit, you can see the, the circle and the box I drew over. If you click on the box I drew over it, and go back to gradient, you can pull that right down, right over to the white. So it almost erases the bottom, it does. Go back to transparency, and if you click back on the circle, which you have to do, because otherwise you won't be able to select anything. Trust me, I've wasted a day trying to get rid of that. So click back on the circle, and then change the opacity down to sort of 30-ish percent. And there you go, you've got a nice reflection in there. Whether you need that in there or not, it's up to you. You can drag that up there. Sometimes it's nice to even squash this down a bit so it looks like it's. So from there, to change its colour, we're going to select everything, move it over a bit, and we're going to. There we go. Alt Shift. Copy it over. And then to select, change the colour, just select that blue circle. It's the only thing that's blue, and that blue one in the reflection. Go to your gradient, and you can pop any colours. You want on there darker. So both those circles, yellow, orange, and that's it. There you are, you've got your vector shiny balls. Thanks for listening.